Buccal cavity is the site where the process of digestion begins. So, first of all, we will be reading about buccal cavity. Buccal cavity includes tooth that has been big tongue of food. Then we have tongue that is responsible for mixing of food along with saliva and we have saliva which is released by the salivary glands. Now before we continue first we will read about tooth in detail. The structure of tooth is drawn here. It has three parts crown then neck and root. Now crown is the part which is above the gums means the part which is visible that is called as crown and root is the part which is embedded in the jaw that is called as the root and the part between the crown and the root that is just embedded in the gums that is called as neck so each tooth have all these three parts that are crown neck and root now when we read about this structure in detail we will notice the outer part that is visible to us that white color part is called as enamel then after the enamel the next part this one this is the dentine part and these these red one these are the gums so here you can see crown is the part which is just above the gums neck is the part which is here in the gums means embedded in the gums and root is the part which is inside the jaw now this is the root and inside the root this is the pulp cavity now in this cavity there is enormous supply of blood vessels and even nerve supply nerves are also present here because of these nerves sometimes we get some sensation we feel like that there is some itching sensation when we eat something sour or very sweet that problem occur later and we will discuss about that also in the tooth decay so here is the structure of tooth and in this you have to learn about enamel the outermost white part after that we have dentine then the cavity that is the pulp cavity and inside the pulp cavity there is supply of blood vessels as well as nerves now once we have learned about the structure of tooth we must be learning about what are the different type of teeth in our mouth the first thing you should be knowing is that we have two sets of teeth now which are those two sets of teeth each person each human individual will have two set of teeth in its lifetime and these grow twice in a life first set is called as milk teeth and it is basically growing at the age of around six months and up to two years of age and once the child attains the age of six years and up to nine years all the milk teeth they will be replaced by another set of teeth which is called as permanent set of teeth why we call them as milk teeth so the reason is very simple a child who is born up to the age of six months is totally dependent upon the milk whether it is being by the mother or by some other source the child is taking only the milk this is why the teeth which appear at that age are called as milk teeth so another set is the permanent set again the name indicates once these teeth they have been grown they will remain there for the rest of the life of a particular human being so as they remain there permanently so these are called as permanent teeth Milk teeth are 20 in number whereas the permanent teeth are 32 in number. All the teeth are not similar. The structure of each tooth is same 
whereas their function is different. Basic structure will be same. Each will have the enamel, dentine uh, and the pulp cavity but each teeth will perform its own function. On the basis of the function they perform and their outside structure, all the teeth are categorized into four main categories which are incisors, second are canines, then we have premolars, and molars. Now these are the four types of teeth which are present in the permanent set of teeth. First we have incisors. Incisors are the front teeth which are four in number in each jaw. Means upper jaw will have four teeth and the lower jaw will also have four teeth. So total we have eight incisors in our mouth and the function of incisors is biting and cutting of food particles. Then we have canines. These are two in number in each jaw and one on either side of the incisors. So total there are four canines in one buccal cavity and their main function is tearing of food. After the canines there are four premolars in each jaw two on either side of the canine and total of eight premolars in the buccal cavity. After premolars we have molar. These are six in each jaw and it means three on either side of the premolars. So their total number is 12. So when you total out, you will get 32 teeth which are present in the permanent set of teeth in a person. The function of premolars and molars is basically chewing and grinding. So all the teeth have their own function and ultimately they help in breakdown of food particles into smaller particles. Incisors, they help in biting and cutting. Then canines, they help in tearing. Premolars and molars, they help in chewing and grinding. The process of breaking down of food by the teeth is called as mastication. It is called as mastication. And because of this mastication, the food is turned into small pieces which can later be easily digested. And here in the buccal cavity, it is mixed with the saliva. Once you know about the structure of tooth, there are some other things also which you should be knowing about tooth and how we can take care of our teeth. Now, there are some bacteria which are always present in our mouth. These bacteria are not harmful to us until they will not get any food material. So, after eating some food item, if you are not rinsing your mouth properly, then there will be leftover food between the teeth. That leftover food will serve as food for the bacteria which are otherwise not harmful to us. Now those bacteria will work on the food particles which are stuck between the teeth and what they will do is they will produce acids. 
Now these acids will ultimately start damaging our teeth and this will lead to a problem which is called as tooth decay. Now tooth decay starts with the enamel. There will be the cavity will start growing here and with the passage of time it will start coming down and ultimately may reach to the pearl cavity. Now this hole is the cavity which has occurred in the pearl cavity and if a person gets cavity or tooth decay the sensation for the uh, soreness sweetness will be more the person will feel very uncomfortable while eating the food item because it's straight away will touch the nerve which are present inside our pearl cavity this is the pearl cavity inside this we have blood vessels as well as the nerves this we have already read in the structure of tooth so the person if not taking proper care of the mouth and is not rinsing after eating food will ultimately have to suffer from tooth decay this will damage the teeth and ultimately this will become totally hollow and will be of no use even causing uncomfort to the person. So tooth decay can be avoided by taking proper care of the mouth. How we can take proper care of our teeth that is by brushing after every meal and also by rinsing your mouth if you eat something. If you are not rinsing your mouth after the night meal and you left it like this only overnight there will be bacteria acting on the leftover food stuck between the teeth and ultimately will harm your teeth so it is very important to take care of the teeth because this is a permanent set of teeth which is required all through your life until the teeth are not lost because of very old age or some dental problems. So take care of your teeth and keep them as long as you live.